Hi everyone, this is Brian Gendy from For Goodness Snakes. I wanted to give you guys an update on that big clutch that just hatched out a day or so ago. Uh, ended up with two normals, a uh, pastel and seven bumblebees from a bumblebee to normal breeding. And I couldn't be happier with the quality of these guys. Uh, the pastel side of the equation on uh, this clutch is from the Mark Bell line of pastels. And... Um, and from the normal side, it's one of my best, if not my best normals. It's from the Jewel. Uh, the mother of these babies are is the Jewel. Uh, she's um, normal that's been in my collection for, gosh, 15, 10 or 12 years now. But um, just just beautiful babies. I, you just, uh, I'm sure this video doesn't do these babies justice. There's going to be a huge amount of white coming up on these guys. Uh, these guys are super clean. The yellows on these guys uh, is super clean. You can, oh, that's interesting. I've not seen that before. A newborn hatchling drinking. Some people don't think you need to put water in with your newborns because, you know, the gosh, how can they be thirsty? Well, there you go. I also wanted to incorporate into this video uh, what I do with my babies when, uh, or just after they've hatched. So what I do is I rinse them off, get all the vermiculite off of them, all the, all the smut that's on them from hatching out of the eggs, and then um, put them in these individual tubs. I put, you know, maybe four or five uh, in each tub. Uh, and then I make sure that the paper towel in each tub is soaking wet. Not not that they're floating in water, but the, the paper towel is wet. And then uh, also when I'm putting multiple snakes in, in tubs like this, I want to make sure I have ventilation holes. And uh, you can see there's, uh, there's quite a few ventilation holes over on the left side here. Um, and then on this one, I think I counted nine ventilation holes uh, on this tub. But that's important. I want to make sure that you guys, um, that these babies have plenty of air in these smaller tubs. And then after their first shed, um, I put them in individual tubs and keep the paper towel uh, uh, dry and take it from there. Start feeding as soon as possible. I always start with rats, never start with mice. Um, if you want to talk about that, that's fine. It seems to be a very controversial subject. I'm not sure why, but um, never start feeding mice. All right, everyone. Take care.